everybody. Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Yor, and today we are going to be talking about the most underrated HBCU football players of the 2024 season. Now, before we get started, you can watch for me and Terrence Tucker's new series because he's the number one source for everything Bulldog related, but you can watch the third episode of our show called Bulldog Blitz. I'll give you a little sneak peek right here. Of the Bulldog Blitz, we are your host, Kobe Orr of the Blitz City Podcast, which y'all knew it already. Next to me, though. The number one source for everything South Carolina State related. All right, Mr. Terrence Tucker. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, Bulldog Nation, man? We back in the building, man. 2024, we're here. So, now that we got the preliminaries out the way, if y'all want to go check that out, y'all can. But let's get to the video. So, the first kid we're going to start off with is Jackson Davis. Tight end, 6'5", 210 pounds from Mississippi Valley university now jackson davis was a true freshman last year when in 10 games he put up 406 yards and three touchdowns he was a part of not a lot of not a lot of hopeful things that was going on for mississippi valley state but he was a bright spot him and his true freshman quarterback those two together they gave flashes they gave mississippi valley a lot to be hopeful for for the future jackson davis is no slouch though he's a big body guy with a very big wingspan who i mean guys he's just a mr talented you look at this kid his catch radius is amazing um he is a guy who is going to provide a lot of a lot of good moments for mississippi valley going forward and if he even ups his stock a little bit if he if he ups that production going into this next season you could look for some schools to come call in the transfer portal right so not only him but you know maybe it'll take a little bit longer for his teammate that we're going to talk about next tigerian williams tigerian williams Right, big body kid, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 uh, quarterback, big stature, threw for 1,100 yards, 1,193 yards to be exact, six touchdowns, seven interceptions. Now, you look at that touchdown to interception ratio, you said, why is he underrated if those are his stats for a true freshman? Again, you have to look beyond the stats when it comes to the kids like Ty Jerry and Jackson. For a true freshman to play like how he played, to make the plays like how he did, I've seen flashes of him versus PV. Right versus Jackson State to where I said, you know, the future is really bright if they can continue to build around these two kids. So with Ty Jerrion, I went on a limb and I said, this could be the best quarterback, a star quarterback that Mississippi Valley could end up having. And I still believe in that. Ty Jerrion Williams is a big arm kid with very good accuracy. He's going to have to work on a few things like decision making, right? He's going to have to get quicker, slim down a little bit more. But Ty Jerrion Williams is an underrated guy in this HBCU space. He is immensely talented. After him, we're going to go over to the MEAC, right? Justin Smith Brown at a wide receiver. Justin Smith Brown is arguably the best route runner in the MEAC, one of the best route runners in HBCU ball. And I'm saying this without my Bulldog glasses on because obviously I'm a Bulldog fan, but Justin Smith Brown is a guy who waited his turn, uh, produced, got developed, and now he is the top guy in that room. Make no mistake about it. He was our best receiver last season. So Justin Smith Brown, 22 receptions, 357 yards, and three touchdowns, only because he had injury problems last year. When he was on the field, he was electric. You've seen it all through last season. When he gets, when he breaks away and he gets into space, that speed is something serious, man. Something serious. He's a blur. On top of that, he's been looking really good in camp. As a matter of fact, he's been doing whatever he wants to in camp. I haven't, I have yet to see a DB lock him down in camp yet. That's just how good Justin Smith Brown is and how how much of a great offseason that he's had going into this upcoming season. He's ready to go. And if he stays healthy, he's gonna put a lot of people on notice on why he is a dog, literally and figuratively, and why he is one of the best receivers in HBCU ball, one of the most underrated receivers in HBCU football. So look out for Justin Smith Brown going into next season. After him, his teammate, Keyshawn Tony. Keyshawn Tony is a tight end who is 6'4, 250 pounds. Let me tell you a story about Keyshawn Tony. Started off with Tennessee at Chattanooga. I think he had a stint with the Gamecocks as well. You know, he's a little bit of a journeyman, but he's been with us last season and he's going into his last year now. Keyshawn Tony, it was week two. Week two, we had played Charlotte. We were at Charlotte for an away game. Now, we end up losing that game. I was on the field when I heard a coach from the University of Charlotte stop Keyshawn and said, hey, you are so talented. We game plan for you all week. We thought they would give you the ball more. We game plan for you. I heard him say that. He stopped Keyshawn and said that. So if a coach at the FBS level can look at Keyshawn and say, that guy is a problem, and we're gonna have to game plan for him because the game was close. Imagine 
what he's what he's actually like. You see, we didn't prioritize Keyshawn Tony enough last year, and that's our fault. That was our fault. But Keyshawn Tony is a matchup nightmare. Okay, at six four two fifty, I mean, not many guys. Not many guys. Maybe Eric Hunter, right, at Morgan State, but not many guys could really cover him. And last but not least on this list, Jacoby Hewitt, 6'1", 210 pounds, wide receiver from Alabama AM. and Jacoby Hewitt, to me, is a top 10 HBCU NFL prospect, right? Jacoby Hewitt is a legit burner. Like, it, I noticed him versus Vanderbilt, and I said, no, nah, this kid is really fast. Like, abnormally fast like i think i i don't want to guess his 40 time because i don't know what he runs in the 40 but i'm willing to bet he doesn't go he doesn't go slower than a 4-4 like this kid has sub 4-4 speed he's really fast right and he looks like he turns into a running back after the catch like that that, that yak yardage for him the vision that he has after he tucks that catch in and he's running now it's elite it's really really good but Jacoby Hewitt, that kid is a real threat after he catches the football. He doesn't just go down. So 32 receptions, 516 yards last year, and four touchdowns. And, and he averaged 16.1 yards per catch. Guys, Jacoby Hewitt is a guy who everybody should be on the lookout for. If you are an HBCU football fan and you have Alabama a on your schedule, even if you don't, you should be looking at what Jacoby Hewitt is doing because I guarantee you those numbers are going to go up in his last year with Alabama a &M. Those numbers are going to be almost eye-popping. He might be one of the best in the swag when it comes to receiving stats, so look out for him as well. Overall, these are my underrated HBCU football players of the 2024 season. If you have a name that you would like to uh, be let known down below, put it in the comments and I'll make sure to you know, check them out, get to it, maybe even make a video on them if he's really like that. So uh, I'll catch y'all next time. This is the Blitz Hitting Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. Let me know what other, what other, what other content you would like to see and I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.